Hey guys, a few of you have been asking me to check out the exposed module tinted status bar, so that's what this video is going to be about. Now, I've already downloaded and installed it, it's exactly the same as other exposed modules, so you can find it in the exposed installer. Make sure you activate it and then reboot. So yeah, let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, so once you load up the application, you'll be greeted with a massive list of all your applications and a few other things as well, for example, the Android lock screen right there. Now what this module actually allows you to do is change the color of your status bar and navigation bar and yes that does include the status bar icons and the navigation bar icons as well. Now it actually does some of this automatically for you straight off the bat so all I've done now is activated the module I haven't gone into here and changed any settings and you'll notice my status bar color right now is transparent just as it normally is but if I go into Tapper Talk you'll see that change into the same color as the main application that I'm in right now. So it's gone this kind of gray color and I really like that. It just looks cleaner, it looks more sleek. There's not that kind of disjoint in the color then. You'll also notice the icons have also changed to make it a little bit more viewable for you. Now it does this for a fair number of applications. For example, Google Plus, you can see it there. We've got, uh, let's try Android Central. That's a different color. You can see it's gone green. It did this all automatically, Flickster, you can see it's blue at the top. Now some apps, for example Twitter, don't work automatically with tinted status bar and if I load up Twitter you should expect the status bar to turn blue, but it doesn't, it just stays the same color. So what you need to do is dive back into the module here, get to that big ass list and find the application that's not working, so in this case that's Twitter and click the all activities below settings override this. You now have the option to change the status bar tint, the status bar icon color, the navigation bar tint and the navigation bar icon tint as well. So let's check out the status bar tint. You have this nice little ring of uh, colors that you can mess around with. Let's just choose this one for now and hit preview. Looks like that, probably not the perfect Twitter color but anyway we'll hit apply and we will reload Twitter now. So let's get that out of memory open it up and now you should see the status bar yet yeah, changes color now yes i didn't get that quite right but you can modify that a little bit better and probably get it perfect so if we check out the settings of the module it actually gives you the ability to link the status bar and navigation bar colors together just by ticking this box right here so if we do that we'll go ahead and check out an application we'll load up twitter we'll close it out so the settings can take effect and this time when we open it it should have the same color on the status bar as it does on the navigation bar so let's have a look and yet the first time you load it up it will be a little bit slower than normal but then after that it should be pretty normal if we uh, check that out you can see it's quite normal let's close it out and do that again and it's not too slow there really so yeah you can see how it looks there if we open up let's say the Android Central app you can see they're all green and if we open up Flickster you can see it's all blue and it does look kind of cool so there are the options there. now obviously you don't have to have the link there you can have the status bar to stay black if you don't want that or if you want it a completely different color all the time you can do that as well or if you only want it a different color in certain applications you can also do that so there's a lot of different options here you don't have have to have it linked I'm actually not going to have it linked there's a few other options here as well but um, that's pretty much what the application can do and it's pretty powerful it reminds me very much of the PA hybrid settings but you can do it on the stock ROM so yeah I hope you enjoyed it peace out